Hey YouTubers, it's a nice video for you right now, so it's going to be a video, so uh, anyway, I'm in the garage again, so my parents' house in Massachusetts, we say Massachusetts, but so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, 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 so uh, yes, I'm in my parents' house in my garage, and basically it's going to be an hour smoking video, so I, if you notice, I have my beard shaved, I actually went for a haircut today, so I got my beard shaved, and I also got a uh, haircut, and I'm going to do a, a video right now, so uh, this is not going to be a pie talk review right now, it's going to be an, a cigar review, so I have a cigar right here, nice big ass cigar, like the big ass cigar for life. And yes, I'm really smoking a cigar on camera. So hopefully my iPad can handle the memory. So I will hopefully be doing a video of me smoking this entire cigar. So this is a probably a Toro size or um yeah, about a Toro size cigar. It is a um tobacco tobacco uh to, I can't spell repress that, sorry. Um la Ali and Z I can't speak Spanish, sorry. I can't really speak it. I'll put it in the description. So uh, I'll put the name of the cigar in the description. So uh, um, the title of the f this video. So uh, I don't believe I've ever had this cigar before. So uh, I will put in the uh, video description. And so uh, I'm sorry I can't pronounce the name of it. I guess can't speak Spanish. So uh, anyway, I'm going to fire this baby up. So. Okay, glad the garage door open so the smoke can get out of the garage. It's been so long since I've been in a video of me actually smoking a cigar. One sec. Had to spit. Sorry about that. I know spitting is gross, but I had to spit. It. So, it's been a very long time, a very damn long time. Uh, since I've done a video of me smoking a cigar, so uh, I can't re I can't remember when I did the last time I made a video of me smoking a cigar. So uh, anyway, nice big ass cigar. So uh, basically, um, I got the cigar at my uh, liquor store in town. It was I believe about six dollars with tax, so about six thirty three, six thirty six or something like that. So uh, it's a pretty inexpensive cigar. I just wish I could pronounce the name of it. So uh, T A B A C A L E R A is the first name, and then La L A, and then A L I A N Z A. So Ali Anaza, something like that. So I didn't take Spanish in high school, so I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak any other language. Pretty mild. So. This is a pretty mild cigar. The draw is very loose. Yeah, loose. Like a loose pussy. <laughs> big ass cigar for life. Just being silly ass like the big ass cigar. So yeah, very loose draw. It looks like it's going to be a quick burn also. I'm already almost half an inch down. So, has a pretty mild flavor. Let's check the body. Eh, a little bit of tobacco. One sec. Yeah, has a pretty mild flavor, um, not much there, uh, a little bit of wood, cedar, maybe a little bit of pepper, a little bit of uh, smoothness, that kind of stuff, pretty um, kind of plain overall, so. So how you guys been? So I went to my liquor store today my liquor store in my town uh, today twice. Uh, first off to uh, crush some bottles, uh, some beer bottles, and then I went um, inside to get the cigar, a nice big ass cigar. And then um, I went out to get a haircut with my dad, nice big ass dad, like the big ass cigar. And I got my uh, beard shaved. I actually got my, I actually shaved my own beard. So it costs extra money to shave your beard at the hair place. It costs $7 extra. So I shaved my beard at home. And then I went to the hair place and got my uh, sideburns trimmed and also got my hair. So if you look at my haircut, it's pretty damn nice. So yeah, it's pretty damn nice, my haircut. So pretty damn decent. So, and then I went to the, um, 
the um, liquor store a second time, and um, they were doing a lot of tasting. So I tasted some, um, and by the way, before I say this, I am 28 years old for the last time. I'm 28 years old for the last time. Um, so, so I tasted some whiskey and then some rum, and then I tasted some hard seltzer, which is like seltzer water, which is spiked with alcohol, and then I um, tasted some bourbon and some rye whiskey, and then I tasted some hard cider. That's pretty nice, pretty damn decent. So. I do appreciate doing tastings because you're free. Um, they, you know, they want you to buy the um, things they're tasting, but you know, tastings are free. You know, sorry, just have a little bit of a piece of something in my mouth, like tobacco. I don't want to swallow tobacco. Be swallowing tobacco is very bad for you. So, not to say that cigar smoking is healthy for you, but it's very bad for you to smoke, swallow tobacco. So, it could just be a chip in my mouth. I, I was eating chips earlier, so. Yeah, this is going to be a quick burn. I'm already um, down to um, like half an inch, you know, three quarters of an inch. So, um, aside from that, things are going well here. My parents' house in Massa, just it's be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn, damn, damn. Uh, um, I am enjoying a nice big ass cigar right now. And um, yeah, so it's been a long time, it's been a hell of a long time uh, since I've done a cigar review of me smoking a cigar. So, I just wish I could pronounce the cigar name. It's just hard to pronounce. I'm not sure really what it is. It's it's just like La Alienza, Alienza. So it's I mean again I didn't take Spanish in high school so I don't, I don't speak Spanish. It's funny uh, most people you know most people who I know uh, took a foreign language in high school you know you know most people <clears throat> especially who want to go to a four year college I think it's almost required it is required that you take a foreign language you take either Spanish or French or Mandarin or. Um, German, whatever, or you know, uh, French, whatever. So, uh, but I didn't take a uh, foreign, uh, I didn't take a foreign language in high school. Um, but I didn't go to a four-year college. I went to community college. It's been since I graduated high school. Let's see, that was uh, 2008, 2009. I was in high school for my senior year. So uh, that would be. Uh, 2019 right now so it's been this year it's been like 11 years since I started my senior year of high school time flies I mean it's, it's freaking amazing actually pretty fucking amazing so it is fucking amazing the time flies so fast I mean it's been 11 years since I was in high school so or almost 11 years because uh, next year 2020 will be um, 11 years since I graduated high school pretty amazing pretty freaking amazing so we're fucking amazing whatever <laughs> yes I use bad language yes I use the word fuck or whatever shit whatever so uh, big ass cigar ass like the big ass cigar ass 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 this is not a bad cigar very mild um, has a kind of a plain flavor uh, woodsy cedary has kind of a smooth flavor overall. I know a lot of people, um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a hog. I know a lot of people who do uh, cigar videos, they don't, um, they, they don't, they kind of like to do this, like the smoking fetish thing where, you know, they just sit there with a cigar in their mouth and they just, you know, suck on it, whatever, and it's not right, and it's a smoking fetish thing. It's really creepy, so, uh, yeah, those videos are really freaking fucking creepy, whatever, they're fucking creepy as ass shit, so, uh, anyway, bottom line is nothing into smoking fetish material, very, very fucking creepy, so, uh, Anyway, so yeah, this cigar is pretty nice. Uh, it costs, like I said, about six dollars and uh, forty cents. So you know, pretty cheap cigar. It's just amazing how expensive tobacco is getting these days. I mean, you're paying up your ass like the big ass cigar. So I mean, we're paying so much money for tobacco in Massachusetts. You know, we say Massachusetts be so damn cold here, damn hot here, damn damn damn. And um, I mean, we're paying up our ass. You know, and our asses in Massachusetts. You know, for tobacco. I mean, my, my dad who uh, smokes on occasion. You know, he is a you know moderate pipe and cigar smoker. He smokes on occasion. 
He's a former cigarette smoker, but he uh, quit, you know, and started smoking cigars and pipes with me a, a couple of years ago. Um, you know, he um, paid for a pouch of Cat and Black, like $13, at the liquor store in town in Massachusetts. Be so damn cold, damn hot, damn, 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 damn. And, um, I mean, it's just amazing. So, uh, I mean, $13 for a pouch of Cat and Black pipe tobacco, give me a fucking break, you know. It's like, you know, fuck the government, you know, for charging us so much money. But then again, you know, you, they have to cover the health care expenses, all that kind of bullshit, not going to politics, that kind of bullshit. Shit, you know what? It's unbelievable how much we're paying for tobacco. I mean, a pack of cigarettes where I work at Roche Brothers in Massachusetts, you know, um, a pack of cigarettes is like almost over twelve dollars a pack. So for Marlboro Lights um, or Marlboro Golds, they're called now. We can't say the word light. Stupid, you know, fucking stupid. So um, you know, we're <clears throat> we're paying you know um, for for a pack of Marlboro Golds um, at a grocery store. We're paying. Um, Twelve dollars and twenty six cents. You know, even at like Seven Eleven, where the, the cigarettes are at the um, lowest price by state uh, law, we're still paying over ten dollars. So, and for like the hundreds, or like the good stuff, the good shit, you know, um, you know, eleven, twelve dollars. And my tobacconist washed this cigar in Framingham, um, Framingham, Massachusetts. You know, we're paying over thirteen dollars for Nash Sherman's. So. Now, having said that, I don't smoke cigarettes myself, so, and I think cigarettes are disgusting, so, I mean, I can be, understand why people are upset about cigarettes, you know, I think it's, it's fair that cigarettes are taxed very high, it's because, you know, cigarettes are disgusting, you know, they're fucking nasty, so, I think cigarettes are fucking nasty, I mean, I haven't smoked them in years, so it's been 10 years or so since I smoked them, so, um, they're disgusting, so, um, it's, I'm not, I'm not, you know, upset by any means, or any stretch of the imagination that cigarettes are overpriced, I mean, because by no means would I ever smoke them again, because I think they're fucking nasty, so. Yeah, nice ash. Look at that ash. Dead ash. Like the big ass cigar. Um, somebody commented on my video a long time ago, uh, on I think it was 2016, and said, you look really sexy with a big ass cigar. That's fucking creepy, dude. I mean, it's like, you know, it's one thing if it's a woman. I'm like, okay, if it's a woman, because I'm straight, it's like, you know, that's fine. I mean, uh, believe me, I, I mean, sh you know, that's fine. As long as you're of legal age, that's fine. I mean, you know, you know big muscles, you know, but if you're a guy and you're saying that, I mean, believe me, I, I have nothing against gay people. I mean, I rant a lot about, you know, people who call me gay, who call me a fag, whatever, you know, call me a faggot or a queer, whatever. You know, believe me, I have, I have nothing against gay people. It's like, you know, I have friends who are gay. I mean, being gay is perfectly fine. If you're, if you're born gay, that's perfectly fine. It's no different than being born or black or white, purple or yellow, whatever. I mean, being born asexual, bisexual, whatever. I, I don't have any problem with anybody. It's like, you know, um, but I'm personally straight. It's like, you know, yeah, saying you look really sexy with big muscles and a big 12-inch, you know what, big half cigar for life, huh? Yeah, it's kind of creepy. So, I mean, you get a lot of creepy shit on YouTube, you know. Guys, you know, smoking in leather jackets, you know, and conductor's hats, like uh, the guy on South Park, Mr. Slave. <laughs> you know, if you've ever watched, if you've watched South Park, uh, you the guy, uh, Mr. Ooh, this is kind of strong, the smells. Yeah, just trying to get this smoke out of the garage. Yeah, the guy on South Park, Mr. Slave, who's uh, Mr. Mr. Garrison's uh, ex uh, boyfriend. Um, you know, he dresses up in, a, in a leather jackets and he's a flame boy, flame boy and homosexual. So, we're not getting that kind of shit, you know. But um, that's a really funny show, South Park. So it's still on. It's pretty amazing. It's actually freaking amazing. It's still on. I mean, they're on twenty three seasons. It's freaking amazing. So. I've been watching that recently, so with the new season of South Park, I'm kind of more, in general, a Family Guy guy. You know, I like Family Guy more. I also love Robot, Ch Robot Chicken, so with Robot Chicken's a great show. They actually got renewed for a new show, a new series, or a new season. Um... Yeah, Robot Chicken's funny also. I'm not really into Simpsons, you know. I think Itchy and Scratchy are kind of funny, you know, but, I mean, because of the violence, you know, the blood, the gore, whatever. But um, I'm not really into the Simpsons that much. I, I think some of them are kind of funny, but um, I'm more of a family guy person. Never really got into American Dad. Never really got into the Cleveland show. And 
and um, never really got into like Bob's Burgers, but um, I definitely uh, got into Family Guy. Family Guy is fucking hilarious, and uh, so is uh, South Park. They're fucking hilarious, and Robot Chicken is always fucking hilarious and really weird. Also, I, I like the other shows on Adult Swim, like uh, More Oral, you know. Uh, kind of watched Aqua Teen Hunger Force for a little while. Um, I watched that for maybe... Maybe a couple of years, and I got kind of bored of it. So I miss the like the old ones, like Twelve Ounce Mouse, that kind of stuff. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Back to the cigar. Enough talking about cartoons. Um, yeah, this is not a bad cigar. It's a little hot burning, but it's not bad. It's a pretty, you know, mild. It's just a, just a plain mild cigar. You know, sounds like just like a cigar you'd smoke when you're doing yard work. You know. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a hog. So, you know, when you're doing yard work and you're relaxing, you know, you just want a cigar to smoke, you know. It's a cheap cigar, you know. Uh, nothing exciting. Yeah, I'm trying to get the smoke out of the garage, so I'm breathing my own secondhand smoke. A long time ago, back in 2011, I want to say, I got actually kind of sick from, from smoking. I was I used to smoke in the garage with the door closed, and I used to breathe in all that smoke, you know, all that secondhand smoke, and there's no ventilation in here. And it's really, it really irritates your lungs after a while. And I think after a while, it, got, it gave me kind of like a, almost like a chest cold, so, because you're breathing in all that smoke. And some, one of my subscribers on YouTube, this was years ago, said, you're breathing in secondhand smoke, which can lower immunity to chest colds. And uh, that's what it was, and that a lot of people, I thought it was uh, just a reaction to smoking, but it was actually a reaction to breathing in all that secondhand smoke. So I'm really thanking that guy, so... Uh, Anyway, this is nice. <clears throat> it's, it's nice. Uh, I estimate this is probably going to last a, <clears throat> a little under, you know, half an hour or so. It's a pretty nice, pretty damn decent cigar. Nice, big ass cigar. Like the big ass cigar of life. Um, so, yeah, how have you guys been? So, um, things are going well here, you know. Um, at my parents' house, I'm going to go back to my apartment tomorrow in Massachusetts, you know, basically damn cold or damn hot or damn, damn, damn. And um, a lot of people wonder why I say damn a lot or ass a lot. It's just my catchphrase. So I am repetitive. You know, I do admit I'm repetitive. You know, I do admit that I have kind of OCD. So um, I do repeat myself a lot. You know, I do go like, you know, damn, 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 or like ass, 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 or, you know, big ass cigar, big ass pipe. A lot of people get a little bit annoyed with it. And, like the trolls are like, you know, why the fuck do you say big ass cigar all the time, like, why the fuck do you say that, you know, fuck them, it's like, you know, fuck them in the ass, you know, like the big ass cigar, and yes, I'm going to age restrict this video, because I've said a lot of bad words, so, um, I do age restrict my videos now, because honestly, my videos are not meant for kids, they're not meant for anybody under 18, period, it's like, you know, there's nothing, I mean, the, I mean, the, my videos, they're like the food reviews, like the medical videos, I mean, I can't stop you from watching if you're under 18, I mean, if you have an account for whatever reason that's, you know, lets you watch my videos, I mean, so be it, I don't care, I don't really give a fuck, you know, but it's like, you know, what? My videos are not meant for people under 18. I mean, tobacco is not meant for anybody under 18 or under 21. I mean, pretty soon, pretty soon it's going to be 21 to smoke in the United States. So, I mean, my videos are not meant for people. I mean, they're not meant for minors. So, I mean, you know what? It's like, you know, at a certain point, it's like, I can't control who's watching, but I'll tell you this, it's like, you know, I would not recommend, you know, starting if you're underage because it's a bad habit, so, and, you know, I enjoy cigars and pipes a lot, but you know what, wait till you're older, so, just wait till you're 18 or older, or 21 or older, or 19 or 20 or 19, whatever, so, well, that kind of shit, so, anyway, um, yeah, let's see, uh, things are going well. So, um, cigar is doing well. It's burning great. Um, I use a Bic lighter uh, to light the cigar. And I have my uh, ashtray right here, which is a um, dog food ashtray. A lot of people say, like, you, you, you can actually use uh, dog food dishes as an ashtray. Now, obviously, if you do that, don't actually give it to your dog. I mean, obviously, tobacco is bad for animals. So, 
you know, if you're going to designate a, a designate designate an ashtray to be um, a dog food dish, vice versa, you'd want to keep it that way. So, um, so anyway, but um, yeah, dog food dishes actually make pretty good ashtrays because they're fireproof. So. A lot of people say, you know, can you use like Bic lighters for cigars? <clears throat> and the answer is yes, you can. So you can use uh, Bic lighters. Basically anything with butane is fine. What you want to avoid is like Zippo lighters. Because um, Zippo lighters um, basically have like a gasoline-like fuel. And they basically uh, leave a really nasty taste and a really disgusting taste in your cigars. So you want to avoid... Uh, Anything with like a, a like a like a lighter fuel, but uh, bic lighters are fine and they're really cheap. So around me, bic lighters are like two or three dollars a piece. Uh, now I know some people are laughing their asses off because uh, in Pennsylvania, Florida, bic, lighter, bic lighters are le less than a dollar. So, but that's why we we live in Massachusetts, or some people call it Taxachusetts. You know, because the taxes are so high here. Not getting into politics, that kind of bullshit. So, not getting into you know politics about taxes, that kind of bullshit. So, anyway, so um, things are going well. My YouTube channel is going well. Um, you know, we just celebrated a couple weeks ago the ten and a half years since I started smoking video. Uh, that was pretty fun to do. So it's been over ten and a half years or ten point five years uh, since I started smoking or using tobacco products. Uh, and next year will be eleven years. Pretty fr freaking amazing and fucking amazing. It's, you know, it's been a long time. And I don't, I don't really have any regrets. So uh, I mean, I have a few, a few health effects here and there, but nothing major. So. Uh, I mean, people say, like, tobacco is so bad for you, but you know what? It's like, you know, so is candy. So is, you know, McDonald's. It's like, you know, you know, clearly it's bad for you to smoke tobacco, but it's like, you know, so is alcohol, so is fast food, so is red meat, all that kind of crap. It's like, you know, it's like, I mean, is McDonald's healthy? It's like, you know, it's like, you know, clearly no. It's like, you know, if you eat... If you eat, you know, 15 Big Macs a day, you're going to have as many health problems as somebody who smokes a pack a day of cigarettes, if not more. So it's like, you know, not everybody who has, who, um, you know, you know, smokes is going to have health problems. I mean, some people are going to have health problems in different ways, but it's like, you know, no, nothing is healthy about any of that kind of crap. So that kind of shit. So you get the point. So I don't have to preach to you. I might have to uh, take a, a brief break and just um, and just um, pause the video for a sec, just because um, my mother just came home and she's talking to somebody. So uh, anyway, uh, I'll tell you when I have to pause the video. So I'm not going to literally pause the video, but I'm going to tell you. So anyway, I'm getting cl close to the end of the cigar, nice big ass cigar, and um, yeah, so it's it's pretty nice. My, li my liquor store in town sells um, some nice house brand cigars also. Um, you know, cigars are so expensive, you know, we're paying, you know, upper ass. It's like the big ass cigar. So, I mean, clearly it's like, you know, um, their house blends, you know, they have house brand cigars. They have the, the name of the liquor store. I'm not going to say which liquor store it is, be it out of confidentiality. But uh, their, their uh, house brand cigars are you know, three or four dollars a piece, and people, you know, Pennsylvania and Florida are laughing their asses off because, uh, you know, they, they can get, you know, they can get, uh, you know, house brand cigars for 50 cents a dollar, you know, it's like, you know, uh, but that's a, that's the thing with living in Massachusetts, you know, because, you know, in Massachusetts, you know, uh, we pay up our ass in taxes. Uh, yeah, this is a good cigar. Some people say, <clears throat> some people say I smoke a little bit too fast, but, um, you know, I, I smoke, you know, at a pretty average rate, so I'm going to keep the band just so I know, um, just so I know uh, what cigar it is. I, I wish I could pronounce the name of it, I just can't, so uh, anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I'm a hog, I burped three times in the video now, I'm just probably swallowing some air and that's probably why I'm burping, so... Uh, Yeah, so ignore those in the background. It's just people talking. So uh, just ignore the noise and just pay attention to me. Just being silly ass like the big ass cigar. Anyway, so hopefully I'll be able to do at least one more uh, pipe tobacco review. You know, whatever um, <clears throat> you know, um, pipe tobacco that I, I got in the mail. So uh, 
Um, I really enjoy doing those videos. Um, but tell me in the in the comments below. You know, tell me in the comments below that uh, which do you enjoy more, the pipe tobacco reviews or the cigar reviews? Because I can do both. So uh, I can't guarantee you a lot of them because my budget is very tight. But I can guarantee you, you know, I can do some of them. So. Uh, Um, so, yeah, things are going well. I'm almost at the end of the cigar, so I'm probably going to end the video like 25 minutes, you know, and hopefully it'll upload. I think it'll upload pretty fine. I think, I think it's, this iPad can handle about 30 minutes, 30 minutes of memory, so, um, 30 to 40 minutes of memory. I think once you hit about 40 minutes, it gets kind of hard. Uh, but anyway, I mean, I hope you enjoy the video of me smoking the cigar, so, I give it out 10, this cigar, I, I can't pronounce the name. Give yeah, it a ten, probably a six out of ten. You know, it is a little hot burning, a little um, mushy. You know, nutty, just kind of nutty. You know, warm smoke. I give it a six out of ten for rating. It's not bad. You know, uh, no nasty like ammonia buzz or anything like that. So, you know, actually, I'll give it a seven out of ten. I actually, give it a seven out of ten. It's not bad. So, for the price you pay, it's actually not bad. And considering how expensive it is, uh, how expensive cigars around here are, I give it a seven out of ten. So anyway, um, thank you for watching the video. 7 out of 10 for the cigar. I just can't pronounce the damn name. Anyway, big ass cigar for life. Bye. Nice big ass cigars.